<laughs> well, as I said before, there's a bit of a dictatorship going on in uh, camp at the moment. Uh, we have three lads, uh, they call themselves the sheriffs. Um, they're in charge of any misdemeanors or um, any fines that need to be taking place within within camp and unfortunately I turned up a couple of seconds late for a meeting and uh, they decided to find me and I had to spin the wheel of fortune and I landed on number ones to and from training so uh, hence the suit but it fell on media day so everyone gets to see me in a nice suit so how bad? <laughs> Pardon? Uh, yeah well it was it was a se it was a couple of seconds, all right. Yeah, uh, there's a there's a cut off time, and if you're late, you're late, and um, which is fair enough. Um, so yeah, there, I'm not the only one who's spun, but uh, yeah, you get to see what one of the punishments is. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm at liberty to say to be honest with you. <laughs> Pardon? Uh, I actually, there's a, there's a few, probably one of the worst ones is, I think there's a silent one minute dance, um, which it's actually probably, uh, it's probably punishment for everyone sitting in the room as well as it is for the man who has to do it. So uh, now there's a, there's a wheel, wheel back in the camp and they all have different punishments on it. Um, and, you know, if it lands, land them, whatever, so. Uh, James Ryan, Jack Conan and Dave Kilcoyne. Um, the reason it's a dictatorship is because they're claiming that they can't, they're above the law, so uh, there could be a French Revolution yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the power's definitely gone to their head, yeah. Uh, the, the, particularly Dave Kilcoyne, he, uh, he's, uh, he's enjoying it a bit too much for people's liking, I think. Uh, yeah, look, every player, every player here wants to play. I think, you know, it, it comes around once every four years. Um, you never know if you're going to be fit for one you never know if you're going to be selected for one and then when you get here all you want to do is put on the Irish jersey and uh, go out and represent the country um, so everyone here wants to wants to uh, to play every week and it's no different from last week and I'm, I'm, I'm going to play again this week for sure mm. Uh, yeah, still, still getting there. I think um, you know I, I've been lucky enough. I played all three of the warm-up games, and it definitely helped in terms of uh, you know my my game. I probably wasn't anywhere near where I wanted to be first warm-up game, and, and I've certainly felt like I've been building. I still feel like I've a, I've a way to go to get to get to my best. Um, I suppose. I don't really know what my best is, but I'm certainly trying to improve all the time. Uh, so it's no different. I want to improve on last week if I do play this week. And um, yeah. Thanks, Jerry. Um, so, like, Tom, in the, in the longer aspect of this game, it seems like some more did it. I think you did get away with him, and they're playing the best time that you know. But what are you playing for yourself Yeah, I think. Um, Physicality is definitely going to be top of their agenda. I think they're going to come and try to have a scalp, scalp off us for sure. Um, you know they're they're a serious side when you when you look at the team on paper, and um, I, I I no doubt that they're going to have a go at us. Um, you know they'll they'll certainly uh, attack out wide, and then they'll take us on up front as well. And um, we've got to be ready for that. I th you know. Looking back at the Samoa game, we were uh, we were we were quite off. It we felt, um, you know, a lot of mistakes. Uh, we were disappointed with how our set piece went. Um, Tonga are probably going to look at those areas and um, come after us in those areas. So we're going to have to certainly improve massively on those. I don't 
again on the weekend just gone we're probably still not happy with where uh, where we are there and um, particularly line out so we're putting pressure on ourselves to improve that area for sure um, and you know it's another massive test for us and we're, we're just continuing to look at, look to improve and um, hopefully we'll be able to do that on Saturday. I suppose try not to think about it too much. It was, you know, it's gutting to miss out. Uh, it was gutting to miss out in those games, but you know, it was turned into the lads' number one fan when when I wasn't playing. You know, um, I would. It could easily happen again. You know, I could pick up an injury in any of these games, and again, I'd become Ireland's number one fan. But in terms of motivation, it's it's the same as anything. Every time you go, you get to put on that that jersey. It's it's the same thing. You want you want to go out and put in uh, put in the best performance you possibly can, and that's not going to change um, week on week out. Uh, while I'm here at the World Cup. Thanks. Does facing Tonga after Romania is a good challenge to build up your? physical strength before facing uh, South Africa? Uh, yeah, look, we're, we're not really, we haven't thought about South Africa at the moment. We've just looked at what we produced against Romania and w where we need to improve. And, you know, physically, we certainly need to continue to step it up. I think from warm-ups into Romania, we've slowly been building it, but we're nowhere near where we feel like we can be. Um, so that's definitely going to be a massive area for us that we we want to improve and continue to improve, and hopefully, once we get to a level, we will then aim to improve it even more, going into going further into the competition. But right now, we we feel like we have a step, uh, another step to take from the Romania game in terms of uh, that physical battle. Mike, how you get it? And you just heard the second half against Romania as ruthless. Was that the target that you said somewhere along that, somewhere along this journey, in terms of remember the old All Blacks team that they would get forty or fifty points up on a team and then go go further? Was that a discussion about how to become more ruthless and more clinical? Like, that it's not good enough. Yeah. Uh, um. I suppose it probably it probably has been over the time. Andy has been been in charge, you know. He's since he's been head coach, you know. There, I can't remember. Was it? I don't know if it was Italy or if it was when they were down to thirteen men, or um, and we kicked the ball off, um, and he was he wasn't happy with us. And it, it's probably that's it probably happened once or twice, you know, where he's very much like we're here to play, we, we, go, we go after teams, we, we have that mindset. So he's definitely instilled that in us. Um, and it, it was no different on the weekend. We, we wanted to keep the foot on the, foot on the throttle for, from minute one um, till the end and get as much out of, out of the game as we could. You know, you're playing in a group where hopefully it won't be the case for us at the end of it, but... Every every point will matter in terms of uh, bonus points or even uh, points difference. I I don't know. Um, so we we went into that game and first and foremost we wanted to win, but we wanted to put in a performance where once we got going we didn't want to uh, put the foot off the gas. Thanks, uh, Keen and Simon. It's definitely not a concern for us, no. Um, like, the Samoa game was, the weather was particularly bad. I don't know, if, if unless you were there, you probably didn't. Uh, it was hard. And in terms of defensively, we've, we've been really good um, in the line-out. Um, I think we've probably just met a few unforced errors that was probably a bit unlike us in terms of the line-out. And... Um, to me, they're probably easy fixes, and uh, hopefully, you'll be able to see those improvements this weekend. Thanks. Last question, Simon. Yeah, just going back to that ruthless and the ACD game getting chastised for that, was that at all in your thinking when uh, you know, Jack put that kick over and you were behind your five meter line? 
Uh, which one was this? Sorry. Well, you announced the team man against Italy, and you didn't give the ball Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. You could see, you could probably see from everyone's mindset on the field that we were going to have a crack from our own line. We said we felt we could score another try. So I think everyone had that mindset where uh, why not have a go? Um, and that's probably why we ended up getting the try um, from our own line. So uh, yeah, I think all those all those moments through the last from the last four years where we've had a lot of conversations in terms of mindset especially with Gary and with Faz and um, all the coaching staff in terms of where he wants our heads at um, they've all probably played a massive part in for those moments um, at the ends of games of where our heads at um, and it's probably why we feel we're, we're in a good place at the moment thanks everyone thanks Mike. Um, cheers guys